everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Um, today is, I think it's the 19th of, wait, I have a calendar. It is the 19th, and this is Charm Chatter, or 19th of August, 2020. This is Charm Chatter number 85. I'm going to write that on my calendar that I keep here in the yarn room. Uh, and welcome to the yarn room. Uh, we'll be doing a little chit-chatting. Uh, let's see, this is, uh, did I say Charm Grammy Crochet? I think I did. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's midweek. I get scattered <laughs> That's okay. But thanks for joining me here in the yarn room today. Um, I have, I have things to show you. I have not, no new yarn. Um, I, I have done things r recently besides buy and put away yarn. I made things with it. Would you believe that? <laughs> so if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, and thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. I do love the comments. When I get done with this video, I will be reading comments from the last videos. Uh, I do read them every day. Or I try to every day. Um, some days I don't get through them all. So they get held over to another day. <laughs> uh, and other days I get through them all. Uh, but this is going to be a what did I work on video and I have completed objects and everything I just so much to show you uh, so I made that uh, pocket shawl uh, that I used back days pattern for and that's at the camper it was for the lady at the campground and it's at the camper and she wasn't there last weekend so I didn't get to give it to her and I had been debating on whether I was going to make a hat because I had leftover yarn. Made the hat. Now this is, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, fuzzy. Um, this is the pattern from uh, Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter's No Name Hat, I believe. I will try to link all this stuff in the video. Um, so it's got that little like design in the, the stitching here. And oh, look, this yarn, you can see the purple coming through a little bit. <laughs> That's so cool because it totally mostly looks white. <laughs> and I never knew the sun makes it look purple. Uh, and now this light gives it the purple, which normally you don't see that purple just a little bit in there. It's white. Uh, to the naked eye, it's white. <laughs> to the sun, it's purple. So that's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, I did put a, a little pattern here that matches the pattern in the shawl which I will show you but the shawl's not here and then I added a pom-pom because I thought it was cute and when it and it looks cute on look I'll show you <clears throat> if I can quit coughing see she'll look real cute right and then if she wears a little shawl adorbs I totally love Debbie's pattern is so fun because it's um <coughs> excuse me oh this wool fuzzies um it's so warm and squishy and easy. It's all, I don't know, front or back post, whatever gives you the ridge. It's got the ridge on the inside from the post. You can't tell because of the yarn, but it's got a ridge. So I don't know which post, front or back, that makes that. But anyway, it's got the whole ridge thing, so it's really nice and warm and thick and fuzzy. Uh, and I still had extra yarn after making this hat. So I made another one and I didn't put any design in it and I didn't put a pom-pom on it and I made it for my honey um, because I heard somewhere that wool stays warm when it's wet. Um, and this has some wool in it. And this is the uh, Isaac, you guys know his last name, uh, yarn. And I got this at AC Moore. Um, so anyway... I thought my husband shovels snow a lot for the school system in the winter time. Uh, he has to clear the walkways at his school and he's outside and I thought, well, maybe it'll help keep his head warm. So I did that. Then I'll show you the, <laughs> the flag, Irish flag shawl that I made with the pockets. So look at how fun this is. <laughs> I think my friend is going to love it. Um, it's kind of long. So it's, the Irish flag is green and then white and then orange. And I don't know how to show you this whole thing. Uh, and then I put fringe. 
in green, white, and orange. One strand of each on each fringy thing. So let me see if I can move some of this stuff and maybe we can maybe we can see what it looks like. Um, it's very long on me. He's tall. So I wanted it to be long enough, uh, you know, wide enough to kind of like cover his shoulders a little bit. Everything, there's just stuff in the way. Okay. And I got that. <laughs> it, it, so I put it on my husband and it's not like as long on him. And then you've got the pockets and the fringe and there are pockets. Again, it's long for me. Um, but little pockets and the fringe. And so it's like a wide scarf, but I wanted it to be more scarf than shawl because he's a guy and yet he is funky enough that I think he is going to find it really fun and I think he'll wear it. Um, so he could wear it like this even, you know, kind of fold it over and still put his hands in the pocket or he can not wear it and it's just going to be fun to give it to him. And I think it turned out really cute. And remember I told you I had this like one wonky thing right here hanging out funky. Um, I, I finally figured out after I got it all done why it's funky right there. I screwed the pattern up. That's why. It like had the right number of stitches but yet it was um, sticking out in that one spot. I did the pattern wrong. And it's my own pattern so there you go. And it's just what did I do? Um, oh well, yeah I know what I did. So it's one row of half double crochet. Um, so one row of half double crochet and then this is um, you skip one and half do and double crochet and then go back into the one that you skipped it, so it makes it like a crisscross. My original idea was that it would crisscross this way and then crisscross this way the next time but you're turning your work and uh, well the whole thing was and you can't I mean those of you that are really good crocheters would probably be able to tell the difference. Um, but the problem was I'm crocheting along and flip the work. And then I would forget which way I went the last time, front or behind. And then, I, oh, I think I went front. And so then I went front uh, back, but I went front, you know, and then I put it down and come back to it and I remember again. So sometimes it's front and sometimes it's back. <laughs> And it was, each row is continuously the same, but it, it started off as, um, like you can see here, because, oh, yeah, you can see maybe on the orange. I started off, like, see, it's just not that visible. Um, let's see if I put something behind. Like in the middle section of the orange, can you tell, like, one crosses this way and one crosses this way? Um, and so that was supposed to be the whole plant through the whole thing it didn't work out that way and because like I said sometimes I would just forget where I was and think I did the right way and then it wasn't the right way and then finally I just said I don't care I'm not I'm not frogging it because you really can't tell that much it's got crisscrosses in it and it turned out kind of cute I like it he will love it I I feel really confident that he's gonna really like it because he's kind of funky and um, I think we're seeing him tomorrow and I can't decide if I want to give it to them tomorrow or wait until the campground this weekend. Not sure what we'll do. I'll have to talk to Roy about that. So that's finished object, really number three, because I had two hats. I just forgot to bring one up to the yarn room. Then remember my patriotic blanket and I made my original and then we did the tutorial for the second one. And, um, Amanda had said she didn't want, you know, this was designed for her and she didn't want blue at the end. Well, a lot of people on my Facebook group page were putting the blue at the end and I totally love the blue at the end. I didn't on my second one, the one that I'm giving to my brother-in-law, I did not put the white around the final edge either. The original edge was supposed to be just end at this white. Well, I think he's going to put it in his camper that I thought a white edge is probably not the greatest idea. So I didn't put the white edge and left it with the red edge. But then I saw all of you guys on my Facebook group page with your blue at the end. And I just had to do it. So I did. Um, so I added the blue at the end. 
And I just love it so much more with the blue at the end. So the next time I see my brother-in-law, he will get this. He was, he visited, stopped by to pick up something yesterday. And I didn't get to show you guys how cute it is with the blue at the end. So I didn't give it to him. <laughs> he had to wait. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about it at all, actually. So it's going to be kind of fun to give him this. I think it turned out really well. Um, and I like it better with the blue. So my own, my prototype, I have not put the blue at the end because I think I used that blue that I used for the middle of, you know, this is, was the one on my blanket was a more navy blue. And I think I used the end of that yarn and I don't have any more of it. Um, I think I used it for something else. Like, I think I gave it to Amanda and I think she used it for something or we gave it to the kids, um, in crochet club. Uh -huh. I don't think I have it anymore. So I don't have the matching blue. So I'm not going to put the blue on mine, but if I find that I have the matching blue, I will. Uh, so those are my finished objects. And then, let me get those out of the way, I have two whips. So um, a friend of ours is having a baby. And I started making this blanket for them. And I am using, well, I'll show you the blanket and then... I will show you the yarns. So this is, it's just a chevron. And um, they don't know the sex of the baby. They're not finding out. So I started at the bottom orange and then put in the yellow and then the gray. Amanda and I worked on the color combinations. And we decided to just go orange and gray and white. And... I wanted the yellow so I put the yellow in and so the yarns that I'm using are this I got this um, from Hirschner's in a Hirschner's haul way back before I had my YouTube channel and this is called teddy bear and the orange and yellow are this yarn and the gray is a different one which I don't have the label up here so I can't tell you what it is but they're very they're number two weight yarns um, well, actually this one is a number three, but it's got this big, huge halo and they're acrylic and polyester. Um, and it's a three rate with this. And I have like five of these orange and I had four and a half in the yellow because I snatched some of that for something else. Um, and I'm like, this is a three weight yarn and, and the, uh, there's 138 yards in this. The gray yarn only has 129 yards and it has no halo and it's so it's a number two weight and I'm like I don't have enough uh, orange and yellow and I had two and a half skeins of white solid white and I'm like that's not enough yarn to make a baby blanket with this thin yarn because the skeins are so small so I decided and it would take me a million trillion years I mean let's face it three weight yarn and two weight yarn take a long time to crochet and I know I don't have enough so I decided that I would put the yarn together with a white which is why it has this marled look to it and there goes my there goes my label let me grab it so I had this big huge ball of Bernat baby in white and this is also a three weight yarn um and this is a 10 and a 300 grams 10 and a half ounces uh, I'm not seeing the yardage, uh, approximately 1,077 yards. I think I might have tapped into this a little bit, but not too much. Um, so I, I, I might have made some Easter rabbits out of this. So there was a little bit missing, I think. Um, probably more missing than what I thought, actually, because I'm about 500 yards into these little skeins. And this is how much I have left of the white. But I do have some one pounders and some other, um, you know, the, you're on one pounders or pound of love or whatever that's thin. It says it's a four, but it's very thin. I have some of that. And I also have, uh, I just got, <laughs> I love this yarn, Sport in white, which is a much softer. But since it's mixed in with this, I think it'll be fine. Uh, because I'm going to probably run out of white before I run out of 
out of baby blanket. So anyway, my design is, uh, I put them together. I hold them together, the white, so you can see the white in there, in with the gray and the yellow, um, to make it thicker and crochet faster <laughs> and bigger. So that's what I did. And if you guys don't know this little tip, I'm telling you, it's so helpful. I'm going to just pull out my stitches here. If you take a bead and put your yarn through the bead, it does not tangle as you're crocheting it. I don't know why it keeps it from tangling, but I've crocheted two strands of yarn together before without a bead. And they're always like winding up amongst themselves. And it's a big pain in the ass. Pardon my language, but it is. When you put a Put them through a bead, knock on wood, I have never had them tangle that way. Uh, not one tangle on all this blanket until probably right now that I said that. <laughs> um, because now it's falling, my ball band came off, my yarn's falling apart, now I'm gonna have a problem. Uh, but anyway, it, it always has worked out really, really well for me to do that. So if you, if you have never tried that and you work with two strands together, give it a shot, it works out pretty good. So then the next color, I'm going to go back to the gray, then the yellow, then the orange. And that should make it about 50 inches, and it's 36 inches wide. So um, just the little chevron. And then I'm going to have leftovers of these colors, you know, extra skeins, because each each section is like one skein. Um, and I had five of the orange, and I had four and a half of the yellow, and I have three of the gray. So I think... Um, I might try a sweater. I don't know if that's enough, if I have enough yarn for that. Um, so my decisions are a sweater or a lovey. <laughs> so maybe that's what I should do. Just um, a little stuffed animal with a matching blankie. I think that's probably what I'll do because I should have enough yarn to make like a little lovey like uh, Zelda's, you know, Z makes those loveys. Um, I've made several of those lovies, and uh, I think that's what I'll do. So that's the next thing. Then, uh, the final thing, and I'm at a real standstill with this, uh, is the blanket that I was making for Ariana, my granddaughter. It is almost done. I did this in a corner to corner, and I've showed it to you before. I had the six skeins of the yarn that I got from Marks, the Dreamweaver. And it's very soft. It's like a Caron Simply Soft kind of texture and feel to it. Um, so I got, you guys, It's I played Yarn Chicken. This is the end of the sixth game. Came to here. Can you see that? Yeah, I have this much to go. And no more yarn. Here are my sides. So I think what I'm going to do. Oh, and so this is my first ever corner to corner blanket. So I'm going to get, I'm, just for those of you that are not really corner to corner crocheters. I found it. This is my own tip. I didn't steal this from anyone. Um, as I am doing my corner to corner, I keep crocheting and I get to here to the end and I'm trying to crochet another row. And I'm like, ah. I can't crochet another row. I just like can't just keep going. It's just like mindless, you know, crochet three, chain three, crochet three, chain three. Um, and so every time I get to this last chain three right here, and then I start putting three double crochets in it. And then I have this box sticking up. I'm like, oh, dang it. Every single time. So I put a stitch marker in my last one. Oh, when I get to the stitch marker, then I don't crochet anymore. <laughs> no more boxes sticking up. And I mean, and you notice immediately after you're done with it and you're like, oh, wait, <laughs> there's nothing for that to go into. Yeah, because you dummy. So now I have this problem. I have this and I don't have any similar yarn and I can't get this yarn because it's discontinued. So I decided, and I think this is such a good idea. Let me know what you guys think. I don't have any ends sewed in, so don't, if you see them, don't say, hey, you missed some. I didn't sew them in yet. Uh, some I crocheted over and just need to be cut, but some still need to be sewed. But anyways, 
uh, this is the deal. I think I'm going to get some white um, of the same kind of yarn, like Kieran Simply Soft or the super sleek stuff at uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, Hobby Lobby has a yarn that is this teal color. Exactly that teal color. Uh, and when I was there, I was going to buy it, but it was not on clearance and it was not the 30% off week. And I'm like, me. So I want to get white and I'm going to finish this corner and I'm going to um, frog it back to the end so that it's not an odd in the middle. So it's kind of like in the middle. <laughs> so I'm going to frog it back to here and then I'm going to finish the corner in white. So it won't be a real big corner. And then I want to crow, um, you know how you can, uh, 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 like embroidery stitch with crochet. I've seen it on a tutorial before and I have to find out how to do that. But I want to make this little corner white and then I'm going to put in the teal because teal is her favorite color. I want to crochet her name and put 2020. So it'll be like this direction and then it'll say Ari and the year. And then I will do a border in white. So I think that's a good idea. What do you guys think? Um, and do you guys know how to do that? Or do you know the tutorial that I'm talking about that shows you how to do like an overstitch crochet? Uh, it's like a, I don't know. I, I think they use a crochet needle. I mean, a crochet hook and crochet through. I can't remember. It was when I was first learning to crochet that I saw that when I first started doing tutorials on YouTube. And I would like to do that to this. And I, it, and it, maybe it was just with the darning needle. I, but I thought she used a hook. I can't remember. And it's driving me crazy. And I haven't searched it. Um, I just decided, like I ran out of the yarn last weekend. Um, and I took a little sample of the yarn to Hobby Lobby when I did my last Hobby Lobby shopping. And I, that's when I knew, I found out that they have the exact same blue, but they were out of white. I probably, if they had the white, I probably would have bought it anyway, even though it wasn't on sale, which is so against my religion, my yarn buying religion, um, never buy, never pay full price, <laughs> particularly when you got your cart full of stuff that's 75% off. <laughs> um, so one of the ladies that was shopping when I was shopping, I like, what do you think? Do you think this yarn matches? And and we both decided that the teal was exactly the same color. And then they had a, a, a lime that was similar and a purple that was similar, but not the same. But the teal matched really, really well. So I'm going to get the teal to do the name in. But I, and they didn't have not one screen of white. <laughs> uh, so the blanket is not done until I get to a store and buy some white. White, soft, silky yarn, like Karen Simply Soft. Um, but what do you, do you guys know about that crocheting thing? If you do, please leave that in the comments. Um, I will do some searching, but I'm not even really quite sure how to search it. I think I found it by mistake. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's the update that I have. I have been crocheting my little butt off to finish all this stuff. Um, and I'm very happy about it because I just finished... The hats, I did, I did those last night and today. I started the blank, the baby blanket on Sunday after we got home, I think. Sunday evening, maybe, or Monday, maybe Monday evening. What's today, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, who knows? I don't know, just this week. I finished, no, I finished the shawl, the scarf flag thing on Sunday and I finished between Sunday and Monday I put the blue on and the, the two rows of white and blue actually on that blanket and then I started I had finished up this yarn anyway I did it all this week <laughs> so I'm really been crocheting pretty good I'm kind of proud of myself because uh, I was about halfway done with the scarf before this weekend and I didn't work on it at the camper um, I don't remember what I worked on at the camper because I, I didn't take it there. So there's something else I'm missing. I must have finished something else or start. Nope. 
I didn't take that blanket there. I started that here. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm babbling over nothing. So I think my dinner is about done because I've been on here 25 minutes and it was to cook 25 minutes. So Roy's probably eating without me. Nah, he wouldn't do that. Well, maybe. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing and liking and commenting. And um, thanks for being in my arm room with me today. It's been wonderful. I will see you in the next video. Bye.